Hey guys, welcome to today's unboxing video. Before we get started, I just wanted to issue a quick reminder that I did announce some fancy schmancy giveaways in my New Year's video. So make sure to check that out. Additionally, I am I still have some packs open for the rip and ships that I'm doing. I'll be filming and you know uploading the video opening them on Friday. At least that's the plan. I've been off schedule a lot, but it should be on Friday, if not early Saturday. If you want more information about that, it is also in my New Year's video. And I still have packs of all three. I've got a few evolutions, some vivid voltage, and a couple champions path. And they're all pretty, you know, hot sets right now. So if you want to get in on it, I would say hop to it. I'll have all my different contact information in the description below. So if you want to get interest, if you want to get into it and you're interested in buying some packs, you can get a hold of me and see what's still available. And yeah, so that is all the announcements I think for today. Now we can get into opening stuff. So first off, I've got some more giveaway winning mail. I have no idea who this one is from, but it's got my name on the front once again. I'm not going to show you the front though because you guys don't get to know my address and stuff. So anyways, let's get into that. And then, wait, I should tell you what the main thing we're opening is before we open that. <laughs> We've got this beautiful spring collector's tin. It is very fancy. I've had it for a little while now and I've wanted to open it for even longer. This is one of those things that I just waited way too long to buy it because I kind of always wanted it. But then I got it on uh, Black Friday for slightly below the normal price and that worked for me. So yeah, we'll be opening that. But first, let's see whatever the heck is in this envelope. It feels like almost squishy. Like, I don't know, maybe like just like a really loose sleeve? I, I don't know. But I, I mean, it's got to be... Pokemon something, and that is good enough for me. Hmm, that envelope didn't open as badly as it usually does for me. Oh, we got, we got paper. Some kind of like little crumbs all over. I don't like that. I don't know why I have crumbs here. I do, I do, I mean, I eat at this desk occasionally, but I don't understand these crumbs. I mostly just like eat apple slices and cheese and maybe some pretzels, but these don't look like pretzels. I don't know. I'm just going to ignore it and move on. It's not like they're... They, they shouldn't be harmful, at least. Who knows? Maybe they're radioactive crumbs. Oh, we got a lot of paper. Oh, my goodness! Yay! It's my Rowlet! I got this cute little... Cute little baby Rowlet. It's so cute. Oh, it's adorable. I was so excited about winning this one because just, like, how adorable is that? It's so cute. You know, I'm gonna move my camera down. I feel like this is way too high. Whoop. There we go. Now you can get a beautiful close up on the little Rowlet. Oh, I love that shine. And it's just so cute. I love that. Oh, little baby. I love it. I love it. I also should be getting a. What am I getting? My brain just kind of died. A Magnemite. A Shiny Magnemite. So I'm very excited about that. I feel awful though because my brain just like died and I can't remember the YouTube channel that I won these from. Like I know the channel, I just can't tell the name. Oh my goodness. Well I will have it displayed like right here and thank you so much. It's one of those moments where it's like I know the face but like what, what is the name? I don't know. I don't know. I can't think straight, but thank you to them. They will hopefully forgive me for forgetting. My brain is just like, no, not today. I'm like, why? It's just like, just cause. And so be it. Anyways, I am definitely very excited about this adorable Rowlet. That will be a very fun one to add to my collection and it's just so cute. I love cute stuff. If any of you all watched the one huge uh, video from a couple weeks ago where I opened a bunch of mail, I really like the cute stuff. 
All right, let's set that to the side and get into this fancy thing. Well, now the camera's too low, but I don't really feel like moving it. But look, I've got scissors. So that will be nice to just quickly open the tin. You guys aren't really missing much. Oh my goodness, there's more crumbs now. Are the crumbs coming from this? That doesn't even make sense. It's from. It's kind of like... Oh my goodness, they're all over it. Okay, one moment. now just got some stuff <laughs> I think it should be okay though I will deal with that but right now we've got a thing to open and thing opening is my focus at this time whoosh I get this fancy slide off thing you know fancy now let's open this treasure chest all right i feel like i just gotta move up my camera again gotta see a glimpse of other parts of my desk how fancy all right oh we gotta flip that down that was like a really solid and now we want it to be the other way <laughs> so we've got these cute little promo cards of Actually, they're not even promo. They're just like the uh, hollow version of the regular cards from the set. But they're still very cute. We got Score Bunny Gurkey and Sobble. Quite fancy. And this adorable coin. I love the coins that have multiple Pokemon. It's so cute. And I think I'm going to take care of getting these out later so that I don't hurt them. They are very, very cute. All right, now for these packs. I'm particularly excited about this one. I love Cosmic Eclipse, but it has gotten harder and harder to find these days. So just flip this and flip that. There is a code for y'all sitting there. And there's our packs. We've got Cosmic Eclipse, Burning Shadows, Upside Down Evolutions, Sword and Shield, and another Sword and Shield. So we've got those. I'll set those up here while we go through the rest of the stuff in here. I've, I've been excited for all the, the special things. All right, we've got the stickers. I love the stickers. We've got the Zacian and Zemazenta. I got a whole bunch of Score Bunny, Sobble, and Grookey ones, and even more Zacian and Zemazenta. They're so pretty. I love those. I'm excited to randomly put them all over stuff. I love randomly putting stickers on things. Well, I mean, like, it's not random. I usually have a method to my madness. But, like, the main point is stickers. And stickers are exciting. All right, let's get this fancy little notepad out. I love that. Definitely going to find something cool to do with it. Let's get the little baby guys. Or I mean, they're not, like, necessarily babies. But they kind of are. I don't know. And then we got our... Fancy Schmancy Zacian and Zemazenta. And then, so this is actually my first little one of these like booklet things that I've got to put cards in. Which I mean, like, it seems like such a common thing, but like, I just like haven't bought stuff with them. There are times when I almost did, but it just never ended up getting. I can't like get my hand in there. My nails make opening certain things really hard. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Snip. So much easier that way. I don't know what I would do without scissors. Maybe I'd have like a little pocket knife to open things, but I don't know if that's a great idea. So thank goodness we have scissors. See? So that's cute. You can put some fancy schmancy stuff in there. And yeah, I like that. It's fun. Now as you can see, the Lunchbox tin thing is empty, so we will close that and set it to the side. And set this random plastic over there. Okay, now for these packs. The Cosmic Eclipse definitely has to be last, just because, like, that's my favorite. Then Evolutions, because it's, you know, fancy. Got a Sword and Shield there. Running Shadows, other Sword and Shield. 
And let's go from there. I'm ready for some fancy pulls. I'd really love to get something more from Sword and Shield. I was just looking through. You know what? I'm just going to go to scissors. These nails are not good for opening bags. They're like the longest fake nails I've had. And I even like cut them, like trimmed them down a lot. But, I mean, even if I can't always open packs, they still are better than my real nails. Alright, throw that on the floor. Give that to you. Throw it into oblivion. And now let's get our card trick done. And see what we have. I'm gonna bring my camera down. Down again. I know I've changed it like three times. But I think I'll stay here the rest of the video. Alright, we've got Lightning Energy. Haunter. The Wacky. Pal Pad. I kind of just, I don't know why, but that's funny to me. Cute little Vulpix. Nicket. Got a Ball Toy. Chin Chow. Krabby. A nice Maractus Reverse. And our final card is a Ninetales. I will take that any day. Ninetales is always a fantastic pool. So yeah, I would say that pack is a green card success. <laughs> Through some burning shadows. Just another green card, but as shown by the nine tails, that's okay. All right, we've got a darkness energy, a warlipede. Why is my lighting like so weird? I don't know why, but these shadows are bothering me. Just like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Just keep going. Wobbuffet, Electric, Hoot Hoot, Morill, all nice and knitted up. Snazzy Porygon, a Charmander, a Morlol. Now I got the Porygon Z reverse. And we have a Passimian. I'm gonna get this sleeved up because at this point I have so many sleeves that I have started sleeving up reverse rares because I can. And you know, it's not a bad idea, because sometimes they are worth something. Especially like Ninetales and Night Charizard. Those two especially. Who set that? Where did I put... I don't know where I put the Shaman. Oh, it's under... Not the Shaman, it's not Shaman. I love Shaman, but this is Rowlet. I think my brain is exploding or something. I don't know. I am so all over the place. Anyways... Let's get into our second Sword and Shield pack. Once again, this one doesn't want to open. I don't know why the Burning Shadows was like easier. But, oh well, we can just snip it. That way it will be easier for me. Yes, I was hoping, I was hoping, was hoping this would be the case. There's our code, away with that. Um, let's do our fancy smancy card trick. And we are starting with a Leaf Energy. Got a Rhydon. Eldegoss. An Airblem. A Wooloo. Joltic. Sandalit. Clubpus. Got a Ghastly. Have our Metal Saucer. And the final card is... Hey, I don't know if I have this card. To be blatantly honest, I don't know. But I would say that is a pretty alright pool. We've got the Indeedy V. Let me grab a sleeve for that. It's a nice card, you know? Looks like she's she, he, it. Still don't know much about Pokemon gender. Indeedy looks like it's pushing against a wall. I'll go with that. <laughs> I mean, all, all, I, all I really know is that Arceus and Mew are male, and Dialga is genderless, and that's about all I can tell you for certain. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoy that information, and there's an Indeedy. Okay, let's set that in the pile of good stuff, and we will put this in the pile of other stuff, and move on to evolutions. You know what I really want from this set is the flying Pikachu. 
I like, I just need to get that eventually. So, I hope eventually, eventually, eventually. I keep saying eventually. Also, I'm proud of myself for remembering that the card trick is only three for evolutions. All right, we've got this fancy Blastoise Spirit Link to start us off. We have a Switch, Nidorino. Got a Magnemite, a Seal, little Charmander, a Diglett. We got a Drowsy. We got a Caterpie for the reverse, and the final card is... That's a nice card! This is one I don't believe I have. Either way, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Let's get that fancy Machamp right in a sleeve. I love the hollow foil on there. It's just, it just looks pretty. Like, you know, I wouldn't normally call a Machamp card pretty, but this one, I just like this one. It's, it's just, it's nice. I really like that one. All right, we'll add that to our pile. And add this to the other pile. Move on to our final pack, Cosmic Eclipse, that I will just really, really, really hope to get something good out of. I just want something amazing. But too much to ask. Apparently just even getting this pack open is too much. Okay, yeah. I will just snip it open. Snip. And please be green and white, please be green and white. Oh, sad. But there's still hope because there could potentially be a secret rare full art in the reverse spot. Wait a second, I don't know the card trick. I got too excited. <laughs> Alright, just do four. And we put it behind there and we start with a metal energy. Oh, it's a Flareon! It's so cute. Got a roller skater, Clefairy. We got a Sneasel that I certainly haven't seen before. A Natu. Trap Inch. A Spiel. Wah! I'm just pulling everything off. Surprise! It's red and blue. <laughs> and our final card is a Walrein. Well, we may not have gotten a pull out of Cosmic Eclipse, which makes me just a little bit sad, because I love Cosmic Eclipse. But... We have this very nice pile of wins, plus that nine tails, but I'm not going to dig it out right now because I don't feel like it. <laughs> but we've got our Machamp, our NDD, our Rallet, and this one that just gets asleep, so. <laughs> I, I'm pretty happy. Like, that's, that's a cool one. I need more Evolutions pools. I already have, like, several Evolutions pack, but at the moment, most of them are for my Ribbon Chips. So I just have to look at them and be like, these don't belong to me. And then be kind of sad, but then also like, but I get to like hopefully pull some epic stuff for my Poke Pals. So yeah, that is a also kind of another reminder to, you know, uh, contact me and purchase some stuff for the Rip and Chips if you so desire to. Like I said, Champions Path, Evolutions, and Vivid Voltage, some hot sets. I'm hoping to continue to get more cool stuff. I would love to know in the comments, um, any of you that are interested, what, like, sets, like, that you, you would like to have most in the Rip and Ships. I mean, a lot of sets are harder to find than others, but I'm willing to do a decent amount of hunting and see what I can do. But, I mean, like, if there are especially more recent sets that you really would love, like, if you want... If you love Darkness Ablaze and want that one, let me know. Or what else is recent that you can find that's... You know, I, I can always find just Sun and Moon Base. That is an easy set to find. I mean, I've got a bit of things that come with Sun and Moon Base. And it just kind of is everywhere. <laughs> but I mean, I honestly don't mind Sun and Moon Base. A lot of people seem to have something against it. I'm like, this is, this is good. I mean, it helps that I, like, pulled a full art Lunala a couple months back. That was pretty nice. That's pretty nice. But yeah, I honestly don't mind the set. But other people seem to have a problem with it. But I will just let that be their problem and not mine. <laughs> Anyways, I think that wraps up today's video. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I will see you next time.